Okay, you're looking at a Team Jack Hammers Rag Bright bus uh, for sale. Uh, it's a 1981 Ford Bluebird. Um, team Jack Hammer bought it from another Rag Bright team. Uh, it has new front tires that probably have, we got them new last year, they're over 550 bucks to install. Um, so they got about 2,000 miles on them. Um, it's got a new battery. Um, within the last two years uh, You can see it's got a real big battery, so that was uh, 140 bucks I believe um, We have our own let lettering on there which can obviously come off and be replaced with something blank or Something else All right, the rear tires are in pretty good shape um, I'd say they got some life on them um, on both sides couldn't say, I can't speak to how much they actually have on them, I guess. I'd say they have about half of life left. So, the back of the bus, you can see, um, has a step back here so you can access the back, the back door, and there's the inside of the bus. Um, there's also a ladder going up to the roof rack. And this bus is rare that it has a roof rack, but it's really well made. And although we'd like this in our new bus, it's just too well installed on this bus to, uh, to take out. But as you can see, it has cattle decking all the way uh, the length of the deck, which I think is 27 and a half feet um, by 8 feet wide. Um, you can see the railing going around both sides as well. Um, that is able to come off, um, and that would lessen the height of the bus by a couple feet anyway. Um, yeah, that's back up to the front of the bus, looking down, and then looking back. Um, we hold, we stored bikes up here for our annual rag bright trip across Iowa. We'd have 30 bikes up on top here. Uh, this back bar right here is that's to hold bike wheels that will be coming off. Go back down the ladder. Sorry for the jumpy video. Okay, going to the passenger side of the bus. Um, the driver had an accident last year and kind of clipped him in another bus. Um, so there's some damage here in the back passenger corner, but you know, it really, really isn't that bad. So, um, cosmetically, it's in pretty good shape. There's, uh, I mean, the paint jobs, I'm not sure how old it was, but um, it was done you know, pretty well. You know, it's got a clear coat on it and all that, so. Um, it's just looking at more construction of the rack. Um, basically, there's an upright between each window that holds the rack up with the crossbars. So, um, it's got a brand new exhaust system uh, two years ago. So, you can see that, but uh, it's all brand new exhaust all the way up to the, to the motor. Um, that's a pretty significant cost as well. Um, this is looking at the other front wheel and then the entrance to the bus itself. So, uh, under the engine, it has a Ford 385 series, um, 372 valve carburetor. Uh, again, it's 1981. Um, generally starts up every time, only time it may not is you may have to put some gas in the carburetor if it's, it's like a month or two, um, just a squirt of gas, but then it's, it's good. Um, it's got a new fuel line to it, um, a new wiring harness, put that in last year. Um, the other one was just starting to, um, corrode up, so had our mechanic replace that. That was a seven hour job, about $300.
Um, there's a new regulator there. Um, cap and rotor, new in 2012. Spark plugs, 2012. Um, what else we got new in here? Um, there's a couple other things that'll be listed on the listing. Uh, air filters, relatively new. I think last year, I think I bought one. Um, it'll use oil uh, going down the road, but it doesn't. It doesn't really leak oil while it's sitting. So um, overall, I'd say the engine's in good shape. Walking, you know, onto the bus here. Uh, the, probably the most rust in the whole bus is probably down here below the steps, but it's you know it's not like it's falling apart or anything. Um, this bus has done a number of rag bries. I think it's done 15 or 16 rag bries. Uh, it has a stereo system and there's seven seats on both sides, so. Uh, we've had over 30 people on here a couple times. Um, each seat is removable and there's storage underneath each seat so um, all the seat tops come off you can store bags whatever you'd want underneath yeah, each seat on both sides of the bus. Uh, pretty significant room. In the back there's some storage. Um, storage compartments uh, they open up for storing whatever. Uh, there's probably about mm, three and a half feet wide in the back of the bus on each side. Um, see the speakers going around. We haven't decided if we're going to keep the speakers or not for our new bus. Um, to start the bus, the keys, but no reality the keys all that do is they run the uh, ignition there's a battery switch on the right side here you flip up to activate the battery there's a pull choke there another side you can turn the key 